So this week we are going to do a yummy gravy. It is a mushroom gravy, super easy to make. It'll be wonderful for your Thanksgiving. Canadian Thanksgiving has already passed and that's what I used for my shepherd's pie and I also used it for my stuffing. I just poured it on top. It turned out so good. I'm so glad that I kept track of how I was making the recipe so that I can share it with you guys and I will be adding it to the blog. That way it's really easy to reference. I know some people really like to go to the blog and that way they can save it and they know where it always is and they don't have to worry about finding it or looking in the description box of my videos to find the recipe. So I will be doing that at some point but for now the description for the whole recipe will be down below and that way you have it and just take a screenshot if you need to and if you really like the recipe I would really appreciate you giving the video a thumbs up if you find it useful or helpful. I really appreciate it because it helps the channel tremendously and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel then go ahead and do so now and that way you don't miss any upcoming easy videos or quick and easy recipes and also some wellness tips. Sorry about the background noise, I do live in Toronto and there's cars going by constantly. So anyway, let's get into the recipe. Okay guys, so let's move on to the super easy recipe. I just have garlic and mushrooms, very big staples. Most people have mushrooms on hand at every grocery store, so I figure mushroom gravy is a pretty easy thing to make for most people. You can also buy mushrooms canned if you can't find them fresh. So I have two and a half cups of cremini mushrooms, and then I also have three to four cloves of garlic. It depends on how garlicky I want it when I make it. Um, I believe here I do have about three really large cloves. So now when I go ahead and add my spices, I add my staple spices like my paprika, my oregano. You guys know I love my dry oregano because I dry it um, from the fresh stuff that I have in the backyard. I use that all winter and we love the taste of oregano. But if you don't like oregano, you can replace that with something else. I'm also adding some fresh thyme from the backyard as well. Sorry. When I say fresh, I mean I grew it fresh this year, but then it's dried up, so it's actually a dry spice that I'm throwing in. But yeah, so I'm throwing in thyme as well as the oregano, and then just some Himalayan salt, some pepper, onion powder, and of course um, I'm adding in some paprika because I love to add paprika in most of my dishes. So I always have some water on hand because that's what I use to saute anything that I'm cooking. So I'm just going ahead and adding in a few tablespoons so that the mushrooms and the garlic and all that stuff have enough water as I'm cooking. So right now I'm just letting the garlic do its thing with a little bit of water in the pan and the spices and then I'll go ahead and add my mushrooms in and again add in some more water to make sure that it's not sticking to the pot. So I'm adding in my uh, ground up oat flour. You can use whatever flour you want or you can substitute for like arrowroot flour, whatever is easy for you. So I say two to three tablespoons um, in order to thicken up this recipe nicely. But again, it depends on what type of flour you're using. I'm using oat flour, so I use three tablespoons to thicken up mine to my desired consistency. So everyone likes gravy a little bit different. Some people like super thick gravy. Some people like really runny gravy. So keep that in mind. But if you add too much flour and you feel like it's getting too thick, you can always add a little bit more milk after just to thin it out or water.
So I'm just cooking up those mushrooms a little bit just to soften them and then I'm going to go ahead and add my non-dairy milk. So it depends on what milk you have on hand. Again, it's a preference thing. I'm using oat uh, just because we do have nut allergies in the family and I did bring this for Thanksgiving. So I made sure that it was oat and there was no contaminants of nuts in here. So that's what I'm using. It's unsweetened. It's just regular oat milk, very plain, and it does the job. And since I'm using the oat flour, I think it works really well. And like I said, the gravy turned out amazing. This is the best gravy that I have ever made to date. So I'm really, really happy with it. You can also add one to two tablespoons of tamari in there and skip adding the salt if you wanted to. I added in one tablespoon. I put very little Himalayan salt in there. So again, you customize it to your liking, but I like the taste that the tamari gives it. And just let it slowly cook at a low to medium heat until the consistency is where you want it. And that is it. Super easy, very delicious, and you can throw this on absolutely anything. And it's great even if it's not Thanksgiving. You can use this gravy at any time of the year. So that's it for this quick and easy recipe. I told you, very easy, very staple ingredients, super easy to whip up. You can use this gravy anytime during the year. It does not have to be just during the holidays. Mushroom gravy can be a staple at any time of the year. Thanks so much for watching the video and thank you for all the support on the channel. And consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, if you like quick and easy healthy recipes, and if you like wellness tips. All the recipes going forward will be related to the holidays and with a holiday twist. So I look forward to seeing you in those. So take care everyone, thanks again and stay healthy.